Good evening. We thank you for coming to honor our class tonight. My name is Minyo Kang, the proud president of the class of 2016. At this time, we ask that you silence your cell phones and electronic devices. We now ask that you please rise, put your hand on your heart. Gentlemen, remove your caps as we honor our country with the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. The class of 2016's first speaker will be Samuel Ungerleiter. Parents, teachers, friends, and most importantly, class of 2016. I hope that after four years and 5,000 hours of classes, that we have all gotten to know each other in at least some small way. I know that I personally have made an effort to get to know a lot of you, both in and out of class. However, even those of you who know me best don't know about a special power that I have. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a psychic. I know, this may come as a shock, and most of you are probably wondering how this relates to our time together this evening. I thought that I would use my psychic ability to make a prediction for the class of 2016. So my prediction is this. Class of 2016, each and every one of us will conquer our world. We won't conquer the world, and that's not because we aren't capable, but based on the length of presidential terms and a lot of other factors, it's just not very likely. What is certain is that each and every one of us, in a cap and gown, will conquer our world. Now, I am not a psychic that comes unprepared. I have evidence. We will start with those around us. Look up. Those people right in the bleachers staring back at you, they are your family and your closest friends. They are the people who, before anyone else believed in you, they believed that you would conquer your world. Paul White, a local entrepreneur, says that everything I am I owe to others. The people around us tonight 
are the people who supported us when we had a class that seemed impossible or when we just couldn't handle the amount of stress from a job or an activity, from a sport or from a relationship. Everything that we are tonight, we owe to the people around us. And just as they have helped us in the past, I am positive that they will be there for us in the future. So class of 2016, we will conquer our world because we have the support that we need for the journey ahead. We shift the focus to ourselves. Take a brief moment of self-reflection. We have all failed in countless ways during our time at Dow. Math tests that were less than enjoyable, piles of homework on our desks, not making a personal goal or performing well in a sport. And yet, we have shown that our failures don't define us. Thomas Edison said when working on his inventions, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that don't work. Each of us have found subjects we don't like, workout schedules that aren't helpful, study techniques that bore us into Netflix, but not a single one of us have failed. In the future, we will all find more and more ways to accomplish our goals that don't work. But just as we have done in the last four years, we will pursue a path that does. So class of 2016, we will conquer our world because each and every one of us understands that ultimate success isn't a question of overcoming failure. It's about finding even just one way that works. Finally, we shift to the class of 2016 as a whole. During our years as underclassmen, we let everyone know that the class of 2016 was going to be exceptional. I would talk to teachers who had heard from their colleagues that our class was one of the most engaged, passionate, and determined group of students that the school has seen in a very long time. I'm happy to report this evening that we not only lived up to those expectations, but we shattered them. A class with one of the most well-rounded groups of athletic talent the school has ever seen. From football to tennis, swim to golf, we excelled on the field. A class who has received millions in scholarships as a result of academic excellence, a class with activities that pursue state and national titles from DECA to robotics, debate to journalism. A class with the most school spirit and clearly the best decorated senior hallway in school history. So class of 2016, we will conquer our world because what we have achieved together won't stop even when we're apart. My prediction is locked in. I looked at the support we have from others the ways in which we have persevered as individuals, and finally, how we have been one of the best classes in the 48-year history of this school. And all signs point to one and only one reasonable conclusion. Class of 2016, we will conquer our world. Thank you. The class of 2016 is pleased to have selected Ms. Dawn Mo Brady as our staff speaker this evening. I'll get back to you. Not the title you were expecting, is it? But it is apropos. When I was informed that I was the commencement speaker for the class of 2016, I was humbled, excited, pleased, and a touch nervous. No, not a full-blown panic. If you know me, that's not my style. I was eager to embrace the challenge and develop my thoughts and ideas it's the English teacher in me. I believe commencement is a chance for me to share a very special moment with an amazing group of individuals. What happened, though, was not what I had envisioned. Almost immediately, I was barraged by people asking me my theme, my topic, my message. They would say to me, it's going to be great. Can't wait to hear it. 
I personally was a touch offended, though, when students said to me, you should probably hire a comedy writer. We need an epic speech worthy of Key and Peele. I, I had to Google them. <laughs> so when Mrs. McDonald came to me after a wonderful and fabulous day at the senior fair and said, what is the title of your commencement speech? I sort of shrugged and said, I'll get back to you. Thus began the quest for the commencement address to end all commencement addresses. Researching, discussing, brainstorming, listening, and pondering. That's a lot of verbs. A lot. Surprisingly, for an English teacher, that's an inordinate amount of gerunds without producing great results. And just so you know, I read some papers like that this year from some of you. <laughs> Lots of text, little meaning. <laughs> Had to be honest. So then the message came to me. Now, I wish I could tell you when I was binging Netflix and pounding Red Bull and Snapchatting my closest friends like Shaheen and Pammy Kay, <laughs> but I can't let you into that moment. So let's just say somewhere between realism and absurdism, I discovered my wise endurance. And I knew that this message and this moment had to be real, simple, and authentic. So here it is. Don't wish for the life you want. Make the life you want. It's that simple. The life you want. One that is distinctly yours and no one else's. This is crucial. It must be yours. Allow your passions and interests to guide you as you go forth. Be like Octavia Butler, the science fiction writer, and make yourself a universe. Now there will be obstacles. People, resources, and material, and time. The first two are variables. The latter is a constant that must be accepted as is. When dealing with people preventing the achievement of the goal, Emerson articulated, whatever course you decide upon, there is always someone to tell you that you are wrong. There are always difficulties arising which tempt you to believe that your critics are right. To map out a course of action and follow it to an end requires courage. So have some courage. The cowardly lion did. Look how that turned out. The other variable you'll confront will be resources. These come in various forms from money and materials to opportunities. Most everyone wants more of these. The key is making the most of what you have. Do not let the lack of one or more stop you from achieving the life you want. As for time, make the most of it. At the end of each day, you should be able to reflect on the time as productive and helping you to achieve the life you want. This is a non-negotiable. As Ben Franklin said, lost time is never found again. When you have constructed the life you want, you will have fulfilled my hope for you. A life of meaning. Others may hope for wealth, fame, or power for you. My hope for you is a real and authentic life, an existence fueled by a passionate vocation, one where you are not judged except for your contributions to society, nor do you judge others, but simply accept your fellow human beings. One where you exist as a sentient being in all your amazing, creative, passionate, messy brilliance. A life worth meaning is a life lived with a connection to humanity, a life that by its existence 
will improve those around it, guide society, and maybe change the world. And if you're lucky, you will have someone to share it with. No one who has built a life of meaning will dissuade you, nor will he or she kid you and tell you it was easy. It is an obtainable goal, and your journey will be comprised of a million positive memories. Finally, you may ask, Mo, what is the best part of a meaningful life? I'll get back to you. The class of 2016's second speaker will be Jack Yarish. Hello? <laughs> Sorry about the feedback. I like to keep a handful of magnets in my pocket at all times. Uh, Mr. Jahoski told me that I'm not allowed to go off script, so you're going to miss out on a really cool interactive song and dance routine that I was about to perform. <laughs> so instead, I'll just give you what I wrote. Welcome class of 2016. We finally made it to that year, 2016. We've been hearing 2016 as the year for a long time. Placing it on all the dumb standardized tests we've taken, filling it out on forms, our name is 2016, and this is our year. When looking back on things, it's best to create metaphors to help understand what's happened. Maybe I could use a box of chocolate or a roller coaster, but I'm choosing a river. Not like the Titabawasi, that'd be disgusting. <laughs> but a good river, like, I don't know, maybe not one with radioactive chemicals. <laughs> well, a river usually starts as water running down hills or as underground streams. Those streams would have names like Adams or Siebert, maybe Cook or Carpenter or Woodcrest. Then some of those streams would meet up with each other, forming the start of a tributary known as Jefferson. Then some creeks would start flowing into this river, creeks like St. John's or St. Bridget or Calvary Baptist. And then a big creek named Central with some trickling water from Northeast and other strange places joined. And before you knew it, the great river of Dow was formed. Now this isn't a perfect river, but it sure is one of the best in the state. A river that has captured roughly 50 SVL titles, 25 regional titles, nine individual state titles, and 10 team state titles. A river with the largest band in the region. Our grade, has had 74 total state qualifiers for DECA and 26 total international qualifiers. Our young scientists have swept the Sustainability Innovation Award three straight years. Guys, that's us. Look around at the people sitting next to you. Those accomplishments were won by all of them, including yourself. Now, of course, this river has had some hard times. We've had to go through some whirlpools caused by dumb fads like the whip or the dab. We've also survived some rough rapids, but we always get through. Like when we all survived Ebola. We should be proud of that. As pointless and as silly as this river can seem sometimes, you have to remember, this river is part of all of our lives. Now we're at the mouth of the river, where we'll all flow our separate directions in search of the body of water that we will settle in. We'll make new friends in our ponds, lakes, and oceans, but we can never forget where we came from. Class of 2016, I couldn't be more proud of you and what you've accomplished. Whether it be MIT, Armed Forces, Michigan State, or Delta, I know that all of you will continue to shine. Nobody else can say that they graduated from Dow High in 2016. We are basically a prestigious private school that you didn't have to pay for. <laughs> and it's also not private. <laughs> now as we leave our great river of Dow High on our separate journeys through the wide blue waters of the world, 
I wish you all safe travels and that all of you excel and find what you are looking for. What you won't find is a place better than down. Probably not even close, actually, but you might as well try. I cannot wait to see what all of you can individually accomplish next. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce our principal and heart of Charger Spirit, Mrs. Pam Castle. Good evening, class of 2016. Welcome to parents, families, friends of our graduating seniors. Tonight, we celebrate an exceptional group of students I'm proud to call Chargers. The class of 2016 is the 46th class to graduate from Herbert Henry Dow High School. I'm honored to remind this class of their outstanding achievements and legacy they have collectively built while here at this great school. With the guided support of the extraordinary staff here at Dow High School, you have achieved much in academics, clubs, and athletics. At Dow High, the accomplishments of our team make this school special. At this time, I would like to recognize and acknowledge all members of the class of 2016 who will leave here to serve in the armed forces, all military veterans, and active duty servicemen and service women would you please stand and be recognized this evening? The H.H. Dow family salutes all of you and extends a heartfelt thank you as we celebrate your commitment to serve our country. In addition, this class has 18 senior graduates with Eagle Scout status, the highest achievement attainable in, from the Boy Scouts of America. Congratulations. So last fall, in this gym, we had an all-school assembly before the Dow Midland football game. And Coach Watkins shared some motivating comments, but he nailed it when he said, I quote, it's a great day to be a Charger. I don't think I need to go any further about how that evening turned out. It was pretty awesome. The assembly and the message from Coach Watkins has resonated with me all year. I can't help but think of this quote as Dow High excels in events, awards, and all the other accomplishments that we celebrate tonight. The message was clear. It is truly great to be a Charger. And for this class of 300 seniors, it has been a great four years of being Chargers. It is because of all of you here tonight. I want to recognize the numerous personal, academic, athletic, and club accomplishments achieved by this class. Throughout the year, through your service, hard work, and each of your individual talents, you have certainly left your mark on the history of H.H. Dow High School. Class of 2016, tonight we celebrate you. We celebrate each and every day you show up and make it a great day to be a Charger. H.H. Dow High School is known first and foremost for our incredible academic legacy. We have a history of excellence, and this is no exception with this class. Academically, this graduating class celebrates 29 summa cum laude, 48 magna cum laude, and 55 cum laude students. 
222 of the 300 students sitting in front of me tonight are on the honor roll. This senior class embraces academic challenges. There are 13 IB graduates in this class. We celebrate six commended students and seven National Merit Scholarship finalists in this graduating class. As of today, 171 seniors have been offered scholarships. The average scholarship is over $8,000. Graduating arts students have been offered more than $910,000 for art-related fields. The class of 2016 has been offered scholarships totaling over $14 million. That is the all-time highest scholarship total in the history of H.H. Dow High School. That's amazing. In addition to these academic achievements, you have contributed to the legacy of H.H. Dow High through countless awards and recognitions. This year, Dow High School won the Nicholas Innovation Award for the third year in a row. Two senior students were recognized by the Detroit News Catch. H.H. Dow, for the third year, has won the Education Excellence Award for the 20 Time Project this year. 2016 was another great year for robotics at Dow High School. The charge headed to FIRST Robotics World Championship for the fourth year in a row. Dow ranks in the top 5% of over 3,000 robots in the world. The team was also recognized by the Underwriters Laboratory Safety Judges as one of the top three teams, and also won the highest possible team honor, the Chairman's Award. Dow High debate, varsity, and novice combined teams were state champions. We saw a 71% increase in membership in the CAD Skills Club. 3D printing became a reality at Dow High during the past two years, providing a glimpse into the future of this club. This year, 93 students competed at the DECA district competition. 73 students qualified for state competition. 19 DECA students from H.H. Dow High School competed against DECA members from around the world in an international competition. One senior received recognition for placing in the top 10 and another senior was first in the world in his event. Our Charger Shop became gold level certified and the Business Professionals of America Club had a phenomenal year. Nine students competed at states with five top ten finishes with three students advancing to nationals. The Dow High Senior Project Day showcased 161 seniors who presented their capstone projects. Journalism students from the Update and the Charger Yearbook staff walked away with 64 individual awards at their state conference. The Update received a gold ranking for print and a silver ranking for their online publication. One senior was recognized as a member of the all-state student journalism staff for news writing and reporting. The Charger Yearbook received a gold ranking. Tonight, we also celebrate our exceptional music program. The remarkable Charger Marching Band has 250 members and for the last seven years has been the largest marching band in the Great Lakes Bay region. Our symphonic band was one of the only two high schools in the state to be invited to perform at the Western Michigan University Spring Conference on Wind and Percussion Music. One senior flutist has won numerous state competitions and two national competitions for her performance. Our Dow High Band, Choir, Orchestra received first division ratings at festivals. Dow High's play and spring musical productions danced and sang to sold out crowds. And you showed off all your talents at Ren Faire. Performance has never been an issue 
for the class of 2016. This class boasts an incredible group of student athletes. In addition to your academic and service accomplishments, tonight we recognize your achievements wearing the green and gold uniform. We claimed nine Saginaw Valley League team championships this year. For the 14th consecutive year, Boys Swim won the SVL championship. They placed in the top 10 in the Division II state competition. One swimmer won two individual state championships for the second year in a row. The girls swim team won the SVL for the 10th year in a row. Football celebrates the second consecutive SVL championship and the first district championship since 1997. This year, our boys and girls tennis and girls golf all won regional championships. Our swim, tennis, girls golf, and cross country teams all placed in the MHS AA state finals this year. Our girls golf finished as a state runner up in Division I and one of our boys' tennis players finished his high school career with four individual state championships. Our girls' tennis team, well, they'll take another state championship this weekend. Seven SVL Players of the Year hail from H.H. Dow High School. We congratulate our academic all-state individuals and teams and acknowledge more than a dozen student athletes who have received athletic scholarships. Our cheer teams, Palmers, Green Army, Charger Nation, all students led Charger Spirit at every event this year, supporting their peers and exemplifying sportsmanship. Our spirit stick, well, our spirit stick blue, green, and gold. And we all watched last Friday at our final assembly as you passed on four years of strength, pride, integrity, respect, intensity, and tradition to the classes that will follow you. The class of 2016 is strong with Charger Spirit. So you may have seen Steven Spielberg deliver the commencement speech to Harvard's graduating class a couple of weeks ago. In that address, Spielberg said, in a two-hour movie, you get a handful of character-defining moments. But in real life, you face them every day. Life is one strong, long string of character-defining moments. For you, class of 2016, I believe this is especially true. You have come here every day for four years, and you have made each one of those count. You've pushed yourselves, pushed one another, and accomplished feats you should be very proud of. Now it's your time to go, to use those character-defining moments to make the world a better place. We've prepared you for the next step, and now it is time to charge into your tomorrows. Today, tomorrow, every day. Make it the best day ever. Congratulations. And now it is my pleasure to ask Mrs. Angela Branstad, President of the Midland Public School Board of Education, to come to the podium. Thank you, Mrs. Castle. Tonight is my honor to be here, not just as the President of the Midland Public School Board, but also, like hundreds of you, as a parent of a member of the Dow High Class of 2016. And so on behalf of the Midland Public School Board of Education, it is my pleasure and honor to accept the 46th H.H. Dow High School graduating class, the class of 2016. Congratulations. At this time, we will be 
begin recognition of the individual members of the class of 2016. Please refrain from applause until the last member of the class is recognized so that all names may be heard. Our first reader will be Class Vice President Misha Patel. James Thomas Alby. Heidi Alexis Allen. Anna Rose Alsa. Jonathan Jacob Altes. Bailey David Aldman. Brittany Francis Ammerman. Colin David Angel, Alexis Jordan Ahrens, Noah Stephen Arthur, Lexi Marie Astrike, Danielle Justine Auger, Bailey Andrew Alt. Samir Bahadur, Matthew David Boehner, Severa Marie Ball, Kelly Lee Ballard, Noah Aaron Barbu, Trinity Barden, Andrew Joseph Bartos, Savannah Faith Beckard, Kaylee Renee Bell, Seamus Patrick Bennett, Alana Ann Bergeon, Reed Allen Baker, Scott Richard Baker, Matthew Bramwell Bone, Spencer Edward Bauck, Lauren Elizabeth Bork, Dale Richard Borsa Jr., Benjamin Gustav Branstad. Ashley Nicole Brenton, Michael Bruto, Kelly Elizabeth Brubaker, Bridget Marie Bruno, Ariel Janae Buckley, Kyle Thomas Bunnell. Clayton Leland Berlu, Daniel Michael Burns, Diana Camacho Gigano, Lauren Elizabeth Camp, Amy Chow, Blake Alexander Carmona. Peter Stephen Karras, Emma Marie Colbert, Maxwell William Coleman, Caleb Robert Coleman, Justin Lynn Cook, 
Hannah May Cook. Brooke Cynthia Kuhn. Michelle Lynette Costley. Thaddeus Levi Coaston. Noah Alexander Coughlin. Logan John Cummings. Roman D'Ambrosio. Lauren Elizabeth Daniels. Madeline Judith Davis. Michael Christopher Dean. Rachel Phyllis Dembowski. Renee Andre DeVolder. Michael Glenn Dill Jr. James Zachary Dill. Mariah Lee Dingman. Jared Edward Akio Dittenberg. Stephen Lewis Drake. Bradley Joseph Drankpole. Luke Eli Drumright. Peter James Dukes. McLean Fraser Dull. Kelsey Lillian Louise Eastman. Sadie Rose Eastman. Faith Elizabeth Eckhoff. Tristan Michael Edberg. Shiloh Nikita Edwards. Daniel Thomas Erdman Jr. Patricia Farre Pratt. Alex Robert Farrell. Elena Billy Jose Ferquet. Alexander Ray Fetner. Aaron Jewel Fink. Brandon Michael Fisher. Alexi Marie Flaminio. Travis Allen Fletcher. Bailey Pauline Flint. Alexander Guadalupe Holguin Franci. Emily Jiashong Fu. Ethan John Gallagher. Abby Marie Garl. Sam Alexis Gilson. Natalie Marie Granston. McKenna Joyce Green. Marina Silva Haddad. Daniel Joseph Haynes. Daniel John Hall. Trevor Matthew Sue Harkness. Katie Lori Harmer. Madeline Hayes. Jacob Daniel Heggy. Ariana Catherine Hempfling. Kayla Jewel Henderson. Jack Daly Hill. Jenna Lee Ruth Hill. Emma May Hershey. Nicholas Jordan Hitzman. Caroline Elizabeth Hitt. Elizabeth Kate Hoffman. Lauren Rachel Hoffman. Ethan James Hopp. Manami Horioka. Alicia Marie Horney. Taylor Michael Hoodoff. Spencer Patrick Hulbert. Eric Michael Huss. Brett 
Ray Houston, Alexandra Marie Infante, John Robert Engel, Robert Joseph Jennings, Ethan Andre Jodelin, Emma Nicole Johnson, Katherine Grace Johnson, Nicholas Andrew Johnson, Amanda Lee Jones, Alfred Yijia Kalantar, Minyo Amy Kang, Morgan Alexis Keel, Chase Christian Kylitz, Bradley Paul Kelly, Earl Edward Kennedy IV, Madison Alley Kent, Layla Elizabeth Kaiser, Maham Naveed Khan, Miranda Rose Kidder, Shannon Marie Kilbride, Sonny Kim, William John Kirkman, Samuel James Clark, Amanda K. Klein, Cameron James Kruger, John Patrick Kaczynski, Michael James Lambesis, Chelsea Ann Laplow, Jason S. Lee, Jenna Elizabeth Lee, Jasmine Chanel Lentz, Brinley Michelle Lenhart, <laughs> Shayla Lynn Letts, Rachel Erica Liu, Jasmine Mariana Linares, <laughs> Olivia Louise Lipset, Sophia Antonia Lobo, Jane, Jason James Looker. Carly Ray Luce, Ted Jeremy Lorenz Jr., Christopher Warren Ludington, Jessica K. Lumber, Julia K. Lumber, Brian Joseph Lundell, Dorothy Faishman Ma, Jordan Marie Mack, Mackenzie Ella McGill, Sindhu Manjaraju, Michael Tate Mangus, Elizabeth Ann Maraskin, Marie Marche, Chloe Marie Mason, Bojero Matthews, Cameron Sue Matthews, Haley Ann Maynard, James Gerald McDonald, Catherine Suzanne Mike, Hannah Michelle Melkar, Juliet Marie Merlet. Zachary Anthony Mativa, <laughs> Andrew Jeffrey Mikulowski, <laughs> Karina Jean Mo, Jared Toshio Muhammad, Anne Marie Molinar, 
Nehemiah Stephen Moore, Stephanie Louise Morley, Angela Lee Elliott Mocha, Lorenzo Musconi, Caitlin Roberta Myers, Sarah Beth Namovitz, Travis Joseph Neiman, Heather Marie Neve, Mallory Claire Newton, Abigail Rose Neiman, Brett David Noah, Piper Eve Nugent, Aqua Noma Fori Darko, Kofi Noma Fori Darko, Zachary Thomas Olin, Kelsey Ann Olson, Nisha Moe Patel, Linda Olivia Pava, Zachary Adam Peterson. Brandon Anthony Pham, Megan Elizabeth Pizarchek, Nicholas Kyle Pixton, Jeffrey David Poderez, Matthew Mark Pomeranke, Brandon John Provost, Andrew Paul Pumford, Catherine Mary Putzig, Alexis Jane Randall, Michaela Louise Redder, Sarah Francis Redman, Austin Skyler Ream, Harry Matthew Richards, Savannah Sunshine Richardson, Grace Marie Regal, Joshua Scott Reitma, Matthew Levi Ryder, Charles Robert Rinderlay, Michael Robert Jerome Robb, Amber Rose Roberson, Hannah Michelle Robison, Elizabeth Paige Roden, Allison Marie Roethlisberger, Sophia Leanne Rose, Brandon James Retleski, Aiden James Saggers, Satajit Sarkar, Kennedy Jane Sass, Justin William Savage, Cole Alexander Shar, Hunter, oh, uh, Hunter Maxwell Schulp, Daniel Robert Schramm, Andrew Edwin Schultz, Jose Ramon Samidi III, Melanie Tara Sequera, Ian Nicholas Siebold, McKenna Paige Schaefer, Rishanki Gotham Shaw, Haley Elizabeth Shauger, Allison Christine Shoemaker, Ethan Douglas Cyan, Brock Manuel Simpson, Tristy Singh, Annabelle M. Slizinski, Nicholas Jack Sleeper, Trent Avery Sloggett, Paige Danielle Smith, Amy Catherine Snyder, Brendan McKnight Summer, Wynn Marie Sponseller, Trent William St. James. Emma Alicia Stamper. Noah Richard Stark. 
Joshua Joseph Stoffer, Chase Anthony Steele, Nicholas Adam Steiner, Paige Nicole Stumler, Devante Daryl Stein, Michael Thomas Stock, Robert Kevin Stokes, Timothy Jian Lane Su, Ethan Florian Swarthout, Michael John Zabo, Sarah Kumiko Taylor, Brianna Catherine Talt, Jerry Brandon Tosk, Elizabeth Rose Templeman, Ayana Terauchi, Lindsay June Tipler, Lauren Judith Thompson, Sarah Marie Troy, Katie Ann Underhill, Samuel Gregory Ungerleiter, Andrea Marie Urch, Elise Valley, Desiree Sue Vandenberg, Emily Rose Violet Veneste, Matthew James Vickery, Cayetano Wagner, Catherine Jean Wall, Alex Patrick Ware, Emily Rose Webb, Derek Edward Weber, Christian Joy Wexer, Joshua Charles Wekeser, <laughs> Megan Hannah Werner, Caitlin Marie Borowski, <laughs> Kevin Gary White, <laughs> Leah Shanae Whitehead, <laughs> Nathan Harris Whiteman, Travis William Wilford, John Stephen Wilson, Andrew King Hoon Huang, Rebecca Kathleen Ray, Audrey Grace Wright, Daniel William Wonderland Jr. Steve Chen Yuen Zhu, <laughs> Colbert Yang, <laughs> Jack Benton Yarish, Holly Michelle Young, Andrew Timothy Zerl, Austin Jed Zhu, and Stuart Alexander Zonla.
I would like all members of the class of 2016 to please rise. At this time, to mark the formal transition from student to graduate, please move your tassel from right to left. We ask all Dow High School graduates in the audience to please rise and join the Chargers of 2016 in the singing of our alma mater by the Dow High School Chamber Singers. At its conclusion, the class should remain standing. that all audience members remain in their seats to allow the graduates to move to the cafeteria to receive their actual diplomas. Audience members may rejoin their graduates in the cafeteria. Graduates of the class of 2016, congratulations. 